What up, y'all? This is FL Studio Underground Hip Hop Tutorial. I have a pleasure doing this one because I do like underground beats and underground hip hop in general. It's probably the best type of hip hop right now, in my opinion. So, uh, I, it's a, definitely a pleasure doing this. Um, and these are probably the easiest and most classic to make as well. And uh, you can pretty much start with anything, but we'll start with the FL keys. And again, I'm doing this for everybody. I'm not going to use any crazy plugins. I feel like a lot of uh, a lot of producer tutorial videos use like Omnisphere and all these plugins that aren't free. I try to make this for like everybody. And obviously, I feel like beginners don't have every synth plugin. So appreciate this video and hit it with a like for that reason. You just gotta play something. Yeah, that's how I, that's how you get melodies. You just play stuff. You set your metronome, you move it up to 140 BPM, and you just play stuff. It doesn't have to be 140. You just you can have whatever pace you want. Um, I typically just go with, with whatever pace you want, and then like if you think the beat is too fast, you can just slow it down at the end. That's that's always a thing. So just like start recording like before you even pick out a pattern. See how that turned out. That's on like just play it because you can always cut stuff out. See how I do this? Like I just play stuff. Like, I don't. I don't do anything crazy to these melodies. Like turn the metronome off. Okay. And figure out how you can get some variation. The first, this, uh, you can never do a four bar in the intro melody or else your beat will sound super repetitive. You want, it always has to be eight bar, like pretty much every time. So just figure out how you can like add some type of variation to this. That's probably the variation that lasts like super chord right there. Okay. Also, a lot of FL tutorial vids don't start off with a melody, anyways. You see how I do it, like just right on the spot. Maybe this, this last part is a little bit too heavy. Take out this one. Uh, that could be it right there. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so keep it underground, like. Alright, so we're just gonna add a bass next. <clears throat> you get the bass from pretty much anywhere, but we're gonna go with citrus stock plugins. We're gonna go to the bass section. I know, right? Just hit the middle with the melody, turn the melody down. 
Okay, first of all, route the melody to um, the mixer. Turn it down a little bit so you can hear the rest of the notes and stuff. So we do a simple like we actually ended up using the sub bass, which is ironic. Okay, I'm just gonna keep that. So we can use this is like one of the most vintage hi hats. It's like literally in the vintage section. So you just go to packs, packs. This is everybody has this hi hat. Packs, drums, vintage. No, vintage chai hat. The chai. I mean chai rack. Chai hat. Get your simple like hip hop pattern. Uh, usually, I just play it manually sometimes. I try not to overthink I had too much. Okay, that might be one fourth. Classic. Ah, uh, yeah. We're just like go all in. That's what I call going all in. And then gross it up a little bit. By gross it up, I mean literally like go to the gross.
Oh, uh, whatever, let's just move on. I had to know them most of the time, anyways. Let's get to that kick snare. Key to making like that classic kick snare is to like, uh. I mean, I could have made a better underground video. I think. I think what's classic about, uh. Underground is like that classic kick snare pattern. Which I pretty much use a lot, anyways. Just pick your kick. be like whatever honestly because we're gonna modify it a little bit sure drink perfect Kicks bounce. What we're about to do is hit that one. It's already in one, so we're gonna. Cook do like this. That's how you get that egg. Oh lord, that's how you get that oh lord bounce right there. Patented oh lord bounce. See how it just rocks? So uh, then for your snare, to amp that up a little bit, uh, we're just gonna double it up. This usually does the job, like literally. Literally. So we're just gonna clone, copy, paste, paste, turn it down, mix it a little bit. And then we have ourselves like, something that sounds speaker, speaker friendly. This is more like how you make a rap beat, but this is this could be underground. I'm trying to mix this up for another video. So basically like the form I use is gross. Pick a melody that's cool, gross it up. traps when I can use these 808s. <laughs> Let's okay, okay. do some like random intro That's 
Sorry about that, y'all. I literally had to drop my wife off. Where are we at? So, yeah, get you a little intro. So all I did was automation clip the vocoder. Nothing crazy, right? Hip hop, underground. So this is an underground beat, y'all. It's not the best underground beat ever. But I mean, it is what it is. Oh yeah. Last thing you can probably do this snare is, uh, when you see, uh, what is it, on two? Hit that verb on it, see what happens. The wetness is like that that after part, like so. That's pretty much. If it's too much, like turn that part down. That's probably just about right. That's how you put some like soul into them snares. All right, y'all. That's it for this video. Stay tuned for more. Peace.